What's going on guys, Trump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. As you can see, this is my Antminer S9 and I'm gonna give this thing a makeover. Let's do it. What do you guys think? Came out actually fantastic. I'm super pumped about it. You can see right here, I wrapped around the cord to this inline fan and I have it hanging out there. And right here I have this splitter cable, right? It goes one C14 to uh, two C13s. So as you can see, I got the splitter cable plugged into the PSU and the fan there, and it's coming down to here. Now I gotta carry this unit over to there because unfortunately this is a 240 volt PSU only. And the reason behind that being unfortunate is because now I can't run this Bitcoin solo miner off of solar in the solar trailer. But either way, nonetheless, I wanna make sure this works. Let's plug it in. All right, so this fan right here is 240 or 120 as you guys can see the AC right there I got the Ethernet plugged in and I'm ready to plug in this unit so fingers crossed I didn't screw anything up on this um, ASIC the other concern I have is the fan the knock to a fan that's over here that I added or just changed out I want to make sure that that actually turns on if that doesn't turn on then I'm gonna have to put the black one back in and it's gonna be stupid loud so here goes nothing Come on, yes, turned on, this fan turned on. I can turn it on high if I want. I think you guys can hear that, right? If I get close to it, I'm gonna turn it down. I don't think it needs to be that insane. The fan on the PSU works perfect. This is working perfect. Again, I can turn this up if I need to, but it looks like the hash boards are all on. There's three lights. I'm pretty sure, right? All right, let's get into the computer and just double check, make sure this thing's hashing away. Because it looks like it is. All right, we made it. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I thought I bricked my S9 for about two hours yesterday and I dove into this thing a little bit more today trying to read the command lines and I actually Googled a whole bunch of stuff. So shout out to whoever 
I found this information from, but I totally don't remember the link because I had to restart my computer. Either way, looking right here, I'll show you guys. I have the miner dashboard basically up and mining. Everything's working great now. You can see all the hash boards are good. All these zeros are good right here on the boards. You don't want to see any red X's. That means there is a, uh, a cell or whatever on the actual board that is broken. Now, this is what I was seeing for two hours the other day when I was trying to figure this out. This is the same dashboard with nothing registering. Now, I kept getting all these uh, errors basically inside my dashboard and I couldn't figure out why there was an error. Now, at the end of the day, it turned into be a fan error. But either way, we'll get into that in just a second. This right here, Antminer S9, MIL7 are both through the ASIC hub. Now we go over here, you can see HiveOS, Antminer S9 is up in mining all registering through this, which is amazing. Now, this is what I did see through HiveOS originally, and this was terrifying because I had never seen anything along these lines, and it said, timeout exceeded while awaiting headers, and I assume the headers are the fans? I don't know. I could be wrong. Either way, that's what ended up fixing the problem was plugging the fans back in. So right now, I currently have the fans plugged in outside this unit. Now, what I ended up coming across was these guys right here from my man, Rondi. This is a four pin dummy plug basically for server fans on ASICs. So if you're going to, I guess, liquid cool your ASICs, these are the things you guys need. So I will leave these in my Amazon store. If you guys are interested, feel free. I do get a commission, but it doesn't cost you guys anything more. So just full transparency on that. But I'll put these linked in there. I just bought a pair so I can actually put these in at a later date. I just don't have time, obviously, to wait a couple days until these things come in. But I'll keep you guys updated nonetheless. Now, if we go over to the solo.ck pool, you can see it's 14.7 terahash on this uh, address now. This is where my USBs are solo mining to. So 14.7 terahash in the last minute, which is obviously including those USB miners. So this is a 13 and a half terahash S9. Obviously, results vary. So that's pretty much it. Now, I love doing DIY stuff, but when I thought I bricked my Antminer S9, that was absolutely terrifying. Obviously, because once you brick it, there's really no way to bring it back. It's just done. So I really thought I genuinely did something wrong. Thankfully, it was just those fans. Uh, huge shout out to that guy again I don't remember who it was but it was somebody on a forum that said something about the fans and once they plugged the new ones in his machine fired right up so I said hey why not let's give it a shot and then thank you to my man Rondi for letting me know about those four pin dummy plugs if you guys know any other way to bypass these four pins I think you could do it in Hive OS for some machines but I don't have the option for the S9 to like check off liquid cooling so it shuts that sensor off but again, if you guys know any other way, please leave it in the comments below and just let me know in general. That'd be amazing. Huge shout out again to my man, Rondi and the veteran miner for sending over those cables. 10% off with the code chump. If you guys are interested, go check out his cables. He's absolutely fantastic and they're great quality. Either way, guys, hopefully you appreciated this content. If you did, please go down there, hit that like button and consider subscribing. Also, if you haven't seen this video right here, please go check it out and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.